What's up guys? Uh, how y'all doing today, man? So it's been a, a heck of a night for Warzone. Last night was the uh, Season 2 Reloaded update, and honestly, this update was supposed to fix a few things. It, uh, it fixed Dev Error 6634 for Xbox, if you're on Xbox. It was supposed to nerf the AUG and give it some more recoil on the base recoil. It was supposed to be doing other things as well, like, you know, fixing certain attachments or barrels and stuff like that. But honestly, it feels like it's gotten worse. Honestly, though, it just, it feels like everything is just, it was just rushed. Yesterday's update, a new operator came out, and then next week, another operator comes out. This one's called Wolf, and the other one is called Revis or something like that. But anyways, I kind of think it's kind of whack because both operators are going to be stuck behind a paywall. And that's, if you guys can do the math, that's $24 just to get one brand new spanking operator. In my opinion, I feel like the new operator should be free. And then whenever there's a new camo or something like that coming out, of course, charge for that. Not only just that, they made it to where you could access a um, containment buy station at those missile silos. The, at the missile silos now, you can buy an RCXD. You can also buy an RCXD from the actual buy stations as well. For some reason, though, the RCXD is at the very, 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 very bottom of the buy stations now where you normally get a loadout. It's out of order. I don't understand why. It feels like they just threw it in and they were like, here you go. They didn't really mess with the order of it. But honestly, it should be up where the cluster strike is because I've been buying RCXDs instead of loadouts by accident. I'm so just like quick at doing a loadout now. So I have to actually look now before I buy something like an idiot. But the containment buy stations you can buy and bombardment and you can pretty much like start dropping missiles at all of the infected zones. And honestly it kind of just reminds me of like a artillery strike if you guys have ever been a part of artillery strike and other Call of Duty multiplayer experiences. And you can buy Foresight for $20,000. So you can pretty much get the final circles of the actual game and see where the actual circle rotates as well. You can also buy an advanced UAV for 12 bands. I'm telling you, you can buy pretty much all the good stuff at this buy station. Almost every single time, I either get third-party challenge, like right off the rip, or somebody's just camping as soon as you come out of it. This is really horrible. It's making people just want to sit still even more and just actual bait people. The AUG did not get nerfed, by the way. It just doesn't feel any different to me. Not only just that, I think the strike team barrel was supposed to be the focus of this update and trying to be fixing it, because the strike team barrel was actually bugged to begin with. But honestly, they didn't make any changes to it, according to Jgod. I was watching Jgod's new video, and... And, uh, yeah, it just looks like they messed more stuff up than did any good. But this update, it was just a big waste of time. For the Cavalry Lancer Barrel, for your, um, I guess you'd say everything, it does more vehicle damage, which is, like, what it was supposed to do from the start. And then they fixed it to where it had more effective damage range and bullet velocity. So if you guys are using LMGs and stuff like that, now you have to switch to this task force to get any type of bullet velocity help. Because all the other barrels don't actually help with your bullet velocity. But the Cavalry Lancer does help a lot with your bullet damage uh, towards vehicles. So, uh, yeah. You're, I think it, like what J God said in the video was it goes from 200 shots for a birth to 41 or something like that, which is kind of ridiculous if you ask me. But if you, if I'm being honest with you, I'm sticking with the task force barrel because I need that extra bullet velocity. Oh, and if you guys can see on the screen, I don't know if I said this or not earlier, they did change the way the dark matter looks on your menu. That's kind of cool. I mean, I guess, but I really didn't notice a difference in game. Oh, not only just that, apparently the stem glitch is back. <sighs> Man, this season two update has been a miracle, right? Like, it's just been so great. You get a new operator you can't even use if you don't have the money for it. It's stuck behind a paywall. Then you have, uh, of course, the AUG that was supposed to get nerfed, didn't get nerfed. FFAR is still the same as well. FFAR is just slightly, I guess you say, worse because they messed up a lot of the attachments. But yeah, sniper rifles still suck for Cold War guns. And yeah, well, you're pretty much still in the same spot. Rose skin hasn't been touched. All the stuff the community has been like complaining about has been really uh, ignored. Not only just that, they took away SBMM Warzone. So now we can't even track what kind of lobbies we're getting, man. Season 2 Reloaded. Amazing. Mwah.